I'm back. Yeah, time for some reviews. In 2015, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, hey, hey. Maria, where's my pants? Welcome Batman with DCL Scorpion 72 and um, today we're going to be reviewing Batman the Animated Series The Joker based on uh, Bruce Timm's uh, animated style of the Joker in the cartoon um, here he is in a window packaging showing you his accessories and other um, extra changeable arms he comes with uh, this is the figure number four Five in the series based on the anime series as you see in my other videos they're going back and forth between the anime series and the new adventures of Batman um, based on the back of the carded figure there is no other extra pictures it's just a silhouette of Batman in reverse colors so let's open this package and see what he's all about all right so here we have the Joker from Batman the anime series um, we're at the bat, I gotta say, kudos to DC Collectibles, DC Comics, they have done a well, a very good job of not only getting the likeness for the anime series, but also improving the plastics. As you heard uh, from the beginning of this line, there have been problems with plastic of the first uh, series of figures or breakage and stuff like that. I can tell you from this figure right here, it's all been settled. No problems whatsoever. This is how they're going forward with all their figures. Then DC Collectibles has now become a major, even a more major player in the toy industry than they were before because, yeah, this really is amazing. Um, he's on a ball uh, head um, joint there, so his head goes. It's, up and down um, he has sh shoulder articulation he has elbow articulation of course he has wrist and wrist swivel he has waist swivel he has leg articulation he can do the split he can sit forward so you can get him with sitting pose if you have a chair or some kind of tractor He's going to try and mow Batman down in uh, knee articulation, single joint, and uh, ankle articulation. Um, it, it, the most thing is that, is that this part is really pretty loose to find, a little more loose than I care to, uh, uh, care to like, I should say. But um, all in all, I'm more confident about moving this figure around than I was the other figures, as you see in my other videos because the plastic has really been improved they really took war uh, took uh, people's um, concerns and complaints into consideration and unlike other company <laughs> we won't say any names with uh, certain uh, figures you know masters in DC but <laughs> uh, yeah I just had to put it out there they, the, the time that they did this in was amazing like they really did this in like a short period of time where we didn't end up having like almost five or six or even ten figures into the line where they changed the plastic and improved it we got this as soon as possible like after the first four batch of figures bam here we are we we, we have everything fixed so um, I'm uh, even more more all for this line and any other figures that might interest me in DC Collectibles line I'm all for it when they tell me that when they said like especially like New York uh, Toy Fair this is the way they're going all their figures will be like this using this plastic yeah I'm, I'm all for it so he looks basically pretty much straight he looks like the Joker for the animated series you can't get any more uh, accurate than that um, mine does have a, a bit of a yellow paint on his hair, 
uh, I have to figure out how to get that off. Why that's there, I don't know because the only yellow that I see really matches there is from the shirt, so depends. Um, all in all, the figure's great. And that brings me to the other point, which some may not like, uh, which is his accessories, which I get because I guess they're episode based, but they don't really do anything for this figure. As you look here, the Joker comes with four changeable hands. If you look closely at the hand at the bottom on the left side, you can see it looks like it's made to hold like a card or something. Which I'll explain in a little bit later is that the fact that he's supposed to come with a little bit more Joker defiant accessories that he didn't. But um, in the animated style here that DC collectors are doing, um, a lot of the figures are going to come with changeable hands as well as extra accessories and stuff. Due to it being a 6 inch uh, figure and the price point allows him to do this. Um. Yeah, this thing, gas mask uh, type chamber thing goes over his head. You know, like he, he is, is a bubble fan. Can't really remember the episode this comes from. I remember seeing it. But he comes with that accessory. So that just fits on just like that. Other accessory he comes with telescope. I remember him using this in the show. So that can be held in any hand. Straight forward, which is that you take out this hand. And then you can just plug in this hand right here, right off the bat, and it's done like that. Very simple. It's very, very easier, and I feel more confident doing it due to the new plastic. Um, other accessory it comes with is this screwdriver pick, which I remember seeing from the same cartoon. I can't remember which episode, if it's from the episode with the, um, the smiling fish. Or if it's the episode from Joker's favor, uh, I really, I, I, I know I've seen it, but his other accessory is a comb, which I know this is from Joker's favor. I remember him using this comb in Joker's favor. I think that's the first time we actually saw Harley Quinn in a cartoon, like in cartoon form. Our period, that's her first appearance. As uh, little do you know, Harley Quinn actually came from Batman animated series. Uh, she was never in a comic book. She never was referenced anywhere except when she appeared in the cartoon series and people gravitated to her and they appeared her in one of the comic books based on the cartoon series and from then on, boom, as you already know, hey, we have Harley Quinn. She's in the Suicide Squad movie already. So we got actually only have a Harley Quinn from cartoon to comic the toy form, we're going to have her also in live animation. No, sorry, not live animation, but live action. So, that's a that's a big leap. The other accessory Joker comes with is pearls. So, we have pearls, um, periscope, or telescope, whatever you want to call it, a comb, and a screwdriver. And, of course, you know, like a oxygen dome thing. Woohoo! There it goes. Uh, accessories are cool. I guess they're trying to be episode accurate, but from what the promos show, it's not anything really really threaten Batman or anything I really want to pose him with. Like, there's no laughing fish. There's no uh, playing card. Um, bang gun. Like, Joker stuff. To be with this figure, I don't know if the same for Harley Quinn, which is supposed to come out within two months' time. We we'll have to wait and see. Or uh, maybe you know, these extra accessories to come out with the Joker from um, Batman, the New Adventures of Batman. I don't know, but a lot of these accessories is really not screaming uh, Joker threatening, <laughs> as I could say. You know, um, of course he comes with the stand. As you know, it's clear. Posts and uh, clip that goes on the stand. Uh, it comes with a turnaround sheet, which you can see right there. Sorry, I don't want to block it too much. Which I like this because I I posing all my uh, um, uh, Batman uh, animated series figures on these posts. I like the turnaround stands because it show you the front uh, side and back of them. But yeah, other than that, I don't. 
uh, the, the accessories really it really boggles me why he got these accessories because there's nothing really you can really pose him with saying like this is Joker and here he has stuff like I don't get it you know <laughs> uh, side note the comb reminds me of when they added the comb to like the She-Ra Masters of the Universe figure overall he is a really good figure He's good to have in the collection. You've been collecting these figures and all that stuff from the anime series. They're going very strong. There's a lot more coming. Um, I do recommend them. I just don't like the accessories he came with, but I do recommend them. He should be available at uh, online specialty shops or even comic book shops and stuff like that. So if you're getting into this line or even this is your favorite character, I do recommend picking them up. I'm just not a fan of the accessories he comes with because it really doesn't do anything for me. It really doesn't emphasize this character the way it should. Alright, so this is Scorpion 72, a review of Joker from Batman the Animated Series. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, keep playing.